Yo, dudes and dudettes, it's like Shaggy Troglodyte here. You know, my big bro Logical, he's been so busy doing everything with like the shills and like the Logic and Reason show, he hasn't put up any content for a while. So I thought I'd do my bro a solid and like help him out. Uh, so today I thought I would interview Danny Pratt. Come on out, Danny, and say hi to like everybody. So, Danny, it's like I thought I'd interview you a little bit about, like, some of the common themes on your channel and see what you had to say about it. So, let's just jump right on in. So, one of the things you talk about all the time on your channel is, like, we don't know anything about science. So, let's take a look at some of your science stuff. Here we are again, folks. I am not claiming this to be proof of anything. Okay? Other than, I'm not afraid to show you mine. Why is NASA so afraid to show us theirs? So, tell me, Danny, if this, like, ain't supposed to be proof of anything, then what are you even bothering for? This isn't a contest. Well, okay, man. But if it ain't, like, a contest, then how come you keep getting so mad when everybody keeps debunking you, man? I didn't realize it. Well, okay, dude. Uh, maybe we're getting somewhere. So, let's take a look at some more. So, it was a few days ago when I just, according to the Globagandas, did my little spinning ball trick. All this was, was to show an object with a rim velocity of 100 miles an hour. And what happens? I just decided to turn it to the max 3,000 RPMs this drill is supposed to go. So, you're like trying to show that the rotation of the Earth isn't possible by spinning a rubber ball at 3,000 RPMs a minute? You do realize that nobody's saying that the Earth is supposed to be rotating except like once a day, so it's not even one RPM, man. So, how does this like show anything? Trying to tell everybody else how wrong they were. Well, I guess it's good you recognize that, bro. So, I'm going to say again, man. Nobody ever says that that is how, like, the Earth moves, bro. Uh, you got some serious flaws in your experiment so like what i want to know is are you doing this shit on purpose or you just like a dumbass i've been a huge hypocrite well thank you for your honesty bro but i am kind of wondering is this just kind of like one instance of being a hypocrite or is like the rest of your library the same but it's the truth well it is huh well, okay, let's take a look at another one of your science experiments. Gravity. It has nothing to do with relative density, trust me, okay? See, because this lighter and this paper, they're really falling at the same rate. So. Really, man? You're like going to do that and then try to convince me gravity isn't real? Like, don't you have any idea, anything about, like, wind resistance or anything like that, bro? I think that's a lot of what's going on. Yeah, man. That was exactly what was going on in that little drop. But let's see what happens in the next little section. If I put them in my unicorn butt, then they'll fall out the same way. Really? Because all I got to do is change the relative density of the paper. And they fall at the same rate. Huh. Go figure. Like me and other debunkers have tried to say before, man, if it was just relative density, they wouldn't fall at the same rate, man. The one with the less weight would actually fall slower. But since gravity is an acceleration, yeah, that's why things all fall at the same rate, bro. I've been a huge hypocrite. Yeah, no kidding, like, right? But let's take a look at another thing you got in your library, man. Another Glober that thinks articles are proof of something. This is not science. This is not proof of anything. 
articles describing what you say the pendulum does is not science. I wish you great scientists could figure this out because all you ever do is just send articles and say, look, this person says they did an experiment, so you must believe it. Have you ever thought of the possibility, dude, like the reason people give you these articles is like trying to help educate you? Have you ever thought about doing one of those experiments like with the pendulum and shit just to kind of see if the article might have been right? I didn't realize it, but it's the truth. Yeah, man, it is the truth. People are like just trying to help you, dude. Then who am I to limit that? Yeah, like exactly right. But I'm also kind of wondering about like when my bro Logical tried to get you to talk to him live, uh, you had this response. I'm going to go over the psychological game. One of the biggest psychological points of this fight the flat earth agenda is they insist they will guilt you to no end if you do not allow them to come and talk. Dude, like, how is that like any guilt thing at all, man? Just trying to talk to you. It sounds to me like you just want an echo chamber, man. How do you, like, expect to convince anybody of anything if you, like, you don't talk to them, man? But it's the truth. I've been a huge hypocrite. Well, like I said before, dude, it's, like, really good that you recognize that, but you might want to think about some of the anger you got, too. Like, let's take a look at that. Anyone earnestly looking at the subject can't just go to Google and find out the exact same shit these propagandists leave in your comment section. But you continue to tell people to ignore them and let them muddy up your fucking com comment section and put doubt in people's minds when you know goddamn good and well they're full of shit if you're a flat earther. So quit letting them propagandize your audience. It is kind of funny how you start all calm and everything, and the longer you go in these videos, the more angry you get, man. So it seems to me that, like, if you're propagandizing an audience, those are the people who don't let dissenting opinions in their comment section. So, like, why you do that, man? Trying to tell everybody else how wrong they were about shit that doesn't even matter. But look, dude, it's like this. I wouldn't say that self-education doesn't matter, and you at least ask some questions, but you gotta know when to take the answer, man. Just getting uptight when people prove you wrong, like, that doesn't help. Gotta relax, and there's no need to be beating up on yourself for being wrong, dude. But it's the truth. I've been a huge hypocrite. Uh, come on, Danny. Give old Shaggy a hug. It'll be okay, bro. Most calm, patient voice just cuts through me like a sword. Aw, uh, dude, ain't no need to be getting all mushy and shit. It's okay, bro. You've helped me more than you'll ever know. Ah, it's all good, man. Glad I could help. So what do you say we get together tomorrow and make, like, a Globe Earth type video, huh? I'm calling the cops, and I'm giving them your name, your channel, with all of this shit. You think I'm fucking playing games with you, bitch? Wait, what? Like, what did I say, man? Do you think I'm fucking playing games with you? Is it because I said Globe Earth? Do you think I'm fucking playing games with you? Oh! No. Oh. Hey, ah. go get him, Angie! Yeah, hey! Wow, well, that didn't go good. I guess, like, trying to do the shrink thing... A little harder than what Dr. Schlipp makes it look. Well, dudes and dudettes, that's all we got time for in this video. I'll see you around.